Hi guys, so in this video, we will connect your webmail or the domain-based email to your Gmail account. So you don't have to log in sa iyong web hosting or to your cPanel just to view or send and receive those emails sa iyong webmail. Ang requirements are, first, you need to have a domain name. Okay? From the domain name, kailangan mong gumawa ng webmail. Okay? So once nakapag-create ka na ng domain name, you have to look for the settings, yung email configuration, like this, okay? Gagamitin natin yan later on doon sa pag-connect, right? So once meron ka ng email, so in my case, ang gagamitin natin is this, so webmail at digital na searchacademy.net. And second requirements is you need to have a Gmail account, all right? Now, if you have these two, you can start the setup. First is punta ka dun sa settings and then see all settings. After that, sa accounts and import, here, then scroll mo sa baba, you will see a options. Right? These options, yung check email from other accounts and uh, send mail us. Right? Now, first setup is this, check email from other accounts. We need to add the web mail. All right, so let's click on add an email account. And then there is a pop-up asking you for some uh, info, yung webmail mo. So let's uh, fill up this one. Yung email natin, webmail at digitalmassagecademy.net. Next. All right. Makikita mo dito, import emails from other account, POP3. Okay, take note of this, POP3. Then next, the username. Same as ito ng yung webmail. So, copy-paste mo lang yun nasa taas. Then, the password, yung ginawa mo the time you created the email. And then, the port. Right? So, yung port, dun mo siya kukunin sa configuration. Which is, balik tayo. Sabi natin, POP3 port is 995. Right? This one. So, yun din yung gagamitin natin port sa setup. So, port 995. Okay. The server should be your domain name. Okay. Then, check, check the always use a secure SSL. Pwede mo rin i-check yung lay well incoming messages. Alright. Then, click on add account. Alright, so once done, doon sa setup, click mo lang yung next. And pwede mo siyang lagyan ng label. So, lagyan natin dito is webmail. Then next. Okay, sa SMTP server, you will see it will ask you, balik ka doon sa email configuration. So, hanapin mo yung SMTP setup. So, kita mo dito, SMTP port niya kalagay is 465. Yun din yung info na ilalagay natin. It's 465. Yung server, kopyahin natin ulit, which is this one. Dalawa siya. Incoming server is this. The outgoing server is this. So, pareho lang sila. So, copy. Then, let's paste that one. Server. Okay, so technically, yun lang yung domain name mo, yung SMTP server. Username, ito yung webmail natin ulit. So, let's type webmail at, uh, let's copy this one. We are the same. Then the password. Okay. And click on add account. So, it will ask you for the verification code. So, balik ka dun sa uh, webmail mo. And we will receive the code here. Let's refresh this page. And here, ito yung code niya. So, let's copy this code. Then, balik tayo dun sa setup. And paste the code. Click on verify.
after that, balik ka doon sa webmail or sa Gmail account mo, makikita mo na na-add na yung uh, webmail mo. Here, isa. You can check your email. It's just this one, yung POP3. And you can also send uh, email using this email. Okay, yung webmail natin. To prove na okay siya. Okay, let's try. Punta tayo sa compose. Then here, instead of using our default email, let's use the webmail. Okay, to send natin dito sa email na ginagamit natin right now. So, copy natin to. Okay. Then, yeah. So, ang subject is testing. Then, sample message. Right. So from our webmail going to the Homer Bonifacio 12 at gmail.com. So let's click on send. All right. So let's check our inbox. So makikita mo ito siya. So na receive rin natin yung confirmation kanina. No? Okay. And then here is our sample uh, email. So you will see here, this is from the webmail. And going to or send to our Gmail. Now, kung mayroong mag-email sa webmail mo, you can also view here. Alright? So, nakita mo, pumasok na rin dito yung kanina. Okay? Meron lang siyang uh, tag na this is from your webmail. Alright? So, that's how you connect as easy as that to connect your Gmail or webmail account to your Gmail account. Alright? So, see you in our next video.